playing some more skate 3 uh we're also going to be doing a little bit of a tutorial here an updated version of the black box because for some reason some people can't get it to stay online so let's get into it so first thing you'll need usb thumbstick drive whatever you want to call it this tiny thingy and your xbox a windows computer and an Xbox 360, which is what I'm playing on right now. You can also have an Xbox One, and I'll show you how to get the black box on Xbox One later. You can see I have a completely blank skater. Uh, if I go and edit skaters, I don't have any of them unlocked. Uh, if I go to edit skater again, go into merchandise, hats, all of these are all locked. Same with the t-shirts, hoodies, jackets button shirts all of that they're all locked can't really do much with my skater apart from do the body mods but anyway uh completely blank skater my i don't have any board sales and it doesn't even give me the option to have board sales okay let's go to the xbox home all right then all right all right all right Then go all the way to settings, go to system, go to storage, and then you should be greeted by this. Now, now would be a good time to plug in your little trusty old USB. Um, and you're gonna go from you're gonna copy your hard drive, go to Skate Three, uh, Skater, and then copy, and then put it on your USB. Select the S, and then copy, 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 copy. In my case, I already had a skater on it, so I'm just replacing it, but anyway, now would be a good time to unplug your USB. Boop. All right, so then you plug it directly into your computer. That was the noise, and we will switch over to computer now. We're going to need some downloading to do. Now, what you're going to need first, you're going to need Horizon. It is a 360 uh, modding tool, I guess you could say. Uh, just click free download, and then... It'll say, thank you for downloading Horizon. You're going to wait a second. If it shows up one of these offers, click decline. Uh, decline. There we go. And then it'll show up a Horizon setup. Load that setup. We already have it installed, so we're just going to cancel that. Then we're going to go to the next link in the description for the alias uh, underscore skater. It's going to go ahead and download that. Uh, it's Mediafire. Don't worry about this. All of this is completely safe to download. Unless you accidentally do something like accept the offers on Horizon. Uh, but anyway, we're going to go ahead and run Horizon. And then here it is. Let's just go ahead and minimize this. Here is Horizon. So, plug in your USB. We already have it plugged in. Go to, uh, Click the little down arrow on it right here. And go to Games, Skate 3... And then, oh, skater. And then, open up File Explorer. Go to Downloads. And then go to alias underscore skater one. Right here. And then, while you're at it, move this file to your desktop or somewhere that you can that you can easily access it. I suggest putting it on your desktop. We already have it on there, but we're just going to replace it. I suggest putting it on the desktop because then it'll actually work in Horizon. If you keep it in the folder, as you're about to see, it's not going to work in Horizon. See? doesn't let you put it in. So that's why it needs to be on the desktop. Uh, and then you can actually put it in Horizon. See? Well, it lets you. All right, so how to know which one is yours and which one is uh, the downloaded one is the downloaded one has saved to device at the top right of its little window. What you're going to need to do, you're just going to need to copy this, paste it in the other one, copy this, and paste it in the other one, and then copy your console ID and paste it in the other one. I don't think you actually need to do that one, but anyway, make sure you close this window, click save, rehash, and resign. 
click save to device, flash drive, click yes, click yes, wait for it to load for a second, and then it'll pop up, so, yep, click OK, then you can close Horizon, and then eject your USB. Boop. Then we go back to our Xbox 360, as you can see right there. Um, then what we're going to do, you can either... See, this is the part if you want to do it on your Xbox One. Uh, you can go ahead and make sure that it has 9 uh, megabytes for your file. If it does, success. If it's corrupted, try it again. Uh, anyway... If you're just a 360 player, you can either keep it on your USB or put it on your hard drive, your pick. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy it over to my cloud save game, which will put it on my Xbox One. Then you can play it on the Xbox One. I will show proof that it works on Xbox 360 and Xbox One. Uh, I will do Xbox 360 first, then I will switch over to Xbox One so you guys can see that it actually works. Also, if you're a 360 player, you can go ahead and just copy this over to your hard drive. If you were the only one he has 360. Alright. Okay. So, we're going to do this 360 way right now. You can just copy it, then put it on your hard drive. Uh, it'll completely work for your 360. Just go ahead and uh, click replace. Just a little note, if you've gotten this far and you do not want your board sales to disappear, or you don't want your like save to be gone i suggest you save it onto your, your cloud if you're not gonna use it or if you are gonna use it uh, i suggest you use it on xbox 360 if you don't want to do any of this don't do it just know that you won't have black box so here's the thing that is different from the last time i made this video you actually have to be offline to use this mod so you can either go into system network settings and then choose wired or wireless both will have the same outcome or you could just press b whenever you're connecting to ea nations configure networks then set it to manual ip address and then type in something random make it not work and then click done it should say you're disconnected from xbox live and now uh you can just go on to skate 3 picture shouldn't be there make sure you're logged in we are logged in uh yeah so now we wait now this is the error message that you should have it should say that you're not supposed that you're not logged in xbox live or, uh, just before this, you should, uh, not connect the EA Nation, whatever one you pick. If you're on Xbox One, I do suggest just not connecting to EA Nation so you can still talk to your friends. Alright, now we're spawned in. Uh, for some reason, the shirt doesn't like to show up at first, but then you go into Edit Skater, it likes to show up. So, yeah, if you go into Edit Skater, you will now see that you have the black box, uh... Go to merchandise, hats, add team logo. Make sure, oh, here's something that you need to know about this. You must stay offline if you are going to change your skater. If you're going to not, but if you're just going to change your skater, you not, you need to be offline. If you're not offline, um, you won't have the, the one, two, three, four. Uh, two, one is the black box. Two is the uh, green graphic. Three is the red New York graphic. Which can be used to get a very, very nice red hat if I know how to get it. Um, here, I'll put them on a the t-shirt so it's easier to see. Alright, so first one's the black box. Just move this around in a certain order. You can use it with any team logo. It'll make it bigger. See? Alright, so then the next one is the green graphic. Just this little green rectangle. Next one is the New York board. It says New York and just add a couple pictures on it. 
Uh, it's 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 supposed to be used for the boards, except it's not being used right now. Second one is the Cookie Monster board. Uh, f fourth one is the Cookie Monster board. And you can get the very very creepy but amazing uh Cookie Monster uh shirt. If you put it in the right area. Anyway, yeah, you have the black box now. So if you're on Xbox One, same thing works for you. And I will go on Xbox One in a second, but. Before we do that, let's see, let's show you how to go to skateboards, decks, how to actually get this to work. So, just select one, put the black box wherever you want it, then switch to another graphic. It should give you colored grip tape, depends where you put it. This one doesn't give it to you, this one does though. You can go to brand logos, that one doesn't give it to you, that one does. Just mess around with this as long as you want. Oh, I messed it up by accident. Just you cannot touch your left stick whenever you're messing with this. Just so you know. Uh, and then yeah, so now you got the black box. You can mess with colored grip tape, but di mind that this is offline. This is all offline. The moment that you go online, uh, you cannot edit your skater. At least not with the black box. Also, if you import a skater, uh, while you're online, you will not have the black box when you're offline. I'm gonna throw that out there before anybody goes online, starts importing skaters, and expects to have the black box there whenever they go offline so just don't do that it's not a good idea so uh yeah we're gonna switch over to the xbox one and yeah we will show that this uh still works Bye. so if you're on xbox one make sure that you are connected to the internet before you uh decide that you want your skater from xbox 360 to xbox one um so just go ahead, put it back on automatic, um, and then go to system, and then storage, and then go to whatever uh, you are on, like what, what which one you're using, are you using hard drive, USB, etc. I was using hard drive, so let's sign into Xbox Live real quick, and then we can use uh. What's it called? Cloud Save Game to move it over to our Xbox One. Alright, now that we're signed in, we can go to storage and then onto whichever one you're using. USB, hard drive, another hard drive, another USB, whatever you're using. Uh, go down to Skate 3, copy your skater onto your USB, uh, not USB, <laughs> Cloud Save Game. My bad. Go and put it on Cloud Save Game. Uh, click yes if you already use it. This is all for Xbox One players, just so you know. Alright, now that that's done, we can go ahead and head over to the Xbox One. Alright, now we're on the Xbox One. Near the controller. Yup, 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 yup. Uh, we are online, so you know. Um, we are going to be using the Xbox, uh, the cloud save game, because that is the only thing that I know how to use on the Xbox One. So, yeah. Excuse me. Alright, so something that I've noticed, and this is just for all those people that know how to mess with USB modding. Uh, I've noticed manage storage. And if you end your session, uh, session real quick, you can actually go to saved games and see your Skate 3 saves from here. And I think this is really interesting, but I cannot see how you can plug in a USB and mess with this. Because I can't, like, whenever I plug in a USB, it doesn't work for this. Just for all those modders, uh, you can just, that's just going to delete stuff. Don't suggest doing any of it, but... If you're into all this USB modding such, and I'm not, if you know how to mess with all this, make sure you uh, tell me. I have Discord, it's in the description. Twitter, at Nitro Newton. Instagram, at Nitro Newton. Uh, hit me up. I will gladly uh, talk to you. So we're just going to let this log in real quick. Now, I know that it's about to say uh, connecting to EA Nation. I'm going to disconnect from EA Nation because I don't want that to happen.
You have canceled uh, the sign-in to EA Nation. I know that. My black box is going to show up. And I know it will show up. Because I've done this before. <laughs> See? There's my skater. It's here. It's doing all this. This is on the Xbox One. Xbox One. Like that. And then... You can... Uh, we can... Let's go to Edit Skater. Edit. See? All this is here. One, two, three, four is there. We can get the hat. All that. Now, the moment that you connect to EA Nation, and we are about to connect to EA Nation, you will no longer have control of... What's it called? Of the black box. At least, like... You can't move it while you're online. If you disconnect from EA Nation again, you should be able to have it. Alright, now that that's done, let's, uh, you see, I can move, it's all working, this is on Xbox One. So if we go into Edit Skaters again, I'll go into one of the random ones. It's not there anymore. How interesting, isn't it? Alright, so... See? The moment that you sign out of EA Nation... I'll sign into EA Nation. The black box disappears from your grip. Um, but you can go online. People can see it. I already know that. And here's footage of it. Yeah, that was fun. Um... See, we're online, moving around, it's actually working, blah, 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 blah. Uh, oh, God, that was about to end badly. So, yeah, um, that's all for this video. If you liked it, don't forget to hit that like button. Uh, if you want to see more content from my channel, I got a lot of stuff. I can do a lot of stuff, and I do a lot of stuff, and I got a lot of stuff. <laughs> don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Um, if anything doesn't work for you, uh... Just tell me in the comments below. And yeah. And I'm out. Peace.